We have to care about supercomputing because that's the tool that we have in terms of understanding what humanity's impact on climate is and is likely to be in the future. To better understand the individual effects of changes in the sun's energy output, changes in the amount of volcanic material in the atmosphere, changes in ozone due to human activities. Creating the world inside of a computer is one of the most fabulous things that people have ever done. The beauty and complexity of clouds, of the ocean, of snow and sea ice in thousands and thousands of lines of code. The algorithms and numerical equations are our best representation of how the Earth interacts and how the Earth is, is changing over time. Without these visualizations, they're just a bunch of zeros and ones on a disk. You know, we don't know what to do with it. There's no way I can do this in my head. Without the capability of supercomputers, you can really not run these models. Now, we can routinely simulate centuries of climate. I'm going to spend the rest of my time here when you guys are not in this room looking and getting ideas of processes of things that are happening. Sorry, sorry, I've not, I haven't seen this. So this is, oh, this is unbelievable. High performance computing uh, is the premier tool that allows us to look at the world and say, how can we make it better?